we back in this thing again. I did what y'all said, man. Y'all said I needed a tent. I got two in the shed. Is that too lazy to get them suckers out, man? So I got TB over here. What's up? We finna take these, uh, finna take these motor mounts out. That's step number one. Take the motor mounts out, start on the engine bay, then get the polyurethane bushings in there. So I'm gonna set this camera up. These motor mounts ain't, it ain't easy, boy. Them nuts on the bottom inside that frame, you gotta get in there and get somebody, get them out. I did them on that orange truck by myself a couple years ago. That was a little rough, but I got a little help now. So all you gotta do is, when I get on the bottom, you hit the top with the gun. And we're gonna get them suckers out of there, so. Let's see if we can get that done. Got four out of the six out. The top tube always give you problems. So get back under there again and try to get it. I ain't got much left. Got him out. Yeah. Let's see. Look at that. Take them out. And go with the polyurethane energy suspension. I'll show you all that when we get them put on. You drill these rivet rivet things out. Then you reuse the clamshell, put them in there. So that's it. That's a major step right there. Now it's gonna be scuffing and painting while I get them figured out. I do that at work sometime this week. We'll roll on to the next item on the agenda. Quick coat, not professional by no means, but just to get it all uniform. wall maybe scuff the fenders a little bit and go over it one more time good though let me get in here and try to lay a little a little more paint on this firewall all right let's give it a shot Alright, that's 
Three cans. Three cans of rust oleum. Rust reformer. So I didn't pay attention when LV had it, but apparently this is supposed to be painted over. So you paint it with this stuff and then you paint it again. So I had to think on that and see do I want to add another layer of some sort of paint. But looks good for now. Y'all tell me. Better how it was, or better with the black. Let me know. Drop a comment. Money moves! <laughs> Damn boy, you got me on the That boy pull up on me, boy. That boy oh, you know, know I gotta get money moves. <laughs> you know I gotta, you know. Money moves can't bring me this boy. Hey. Huh. Forearms on fire, boy. I know they Forearms <laughs> on do fire. Hot, no <laughs> <laughs> hey, both of them on fire, boy, okay. with that, that spray can. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> hey. That mug can give you a uh, coffee tunnel. <laughs> yes, sir. I got it. I believe. Shit. Hey. Tell, me like Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Oh, man. That's the move right there. Child's that look good. You ain't yeah. changed the mounts yet, did you? No, I got them at work, though. I'm, I'm going to get them. They at work. I just got to drill them out. Somebody told that. me that the mountain that me and Jarvis don't got the V6 mountain just like the V8 mount. Mm -mm. That was somebody alive and said. Nah, nah. You got to have V8 mounts for the LS swap. Yeah. These so, ain't gonna scratch off when you try to put a nut on them or something? Mm, no, nah, I don't know. I doubt it. Nope. I got it. Well, that's all. I, that's all I want to see. Moot. I want to film Moot's opinion when he when he check this out right I here. Love it. Said so he's gonna Need pull to up. Do mine. Pull up and bring me that there. So, Moot, we are gonna holler at you later. So look what we got shaking. Engine mounts. Y'all can see that. Those are the originals. If we want to go with the. Energy suspension, you gotta drill them out. You gotta drill the rivets out. So, let me get the camera set up. We'll knock that out right quick. Then we'll uh, grunt, uh, sand these down and whatnot, get them ready for paint. That's it for that one. Grind them down, clean them up, work on the next part. That's pretty good right there. Alright, now we're gonna spray some semi-gloss. See how that turns out. We'll let that dry and see what it looks like. All right, so let me show you a little bit of what I dealt with last time. It seems as though certain mounts fit these aftermarket things better. So this mount will go in here, basically like that. And see how that top fits over it better it's going to be easier to clamp that down and get the zip ties in it to get it ready for putting on the frame with the bolts but watch on this one over here it doesn't even go on not even close it wants to keep turning so I think that aftermarket mounts as you can see that's not even that's not even close to going in there it's not even close so i think this mount was changed at some point because in my experience the oem mounts uh work perfect now if you take a look at it i'm gonna get them both in the camera they look different the oem mount fits over the top of the this other mount when you switch it that one doesn't switch fit over top of that one see the difference this has got a little angle sides right here and this one 
really doesn't. So I sourced two more mounts. I think they're gonna work better. Um, so I'm gonna go in there and cut the rivets off of those and give it another shot. That was enough to break it. There you go. There you go. Came apart. Let's go over here and see. Go over here and put the polyurethane in and see if it fits. Bingo. See how much easier that goes on there? That's what you want. We'll use this one and we'll use that other one that was working perfect. That's perfect. That went in there perfectly. Energy suspension. All right. I'm going to scuff this up and add some paint to it. And we'll be ready to throw these on. That's the final product. That's with some semi-gloss rust oleum on top of the rust reformer. We're gonna put it in the vise and see if we can get the things in the uh, in the tighter. See? I can't do both. I can't hold it in. So I'm gonna put it in the vise and do it. All right, that's it. It's done. Got the zip ties in that they supply. Now, if you see, the side that's lower is where the bolts go. So see how the middle is high, each side is lower. So this side will get the two bolts. This side will get the one bolt because it's lower. These two sides are higher. And that goes for both of them. So that's the middle, it's low. So it gets one bolt there. And over here, you see the middle is high. So the two bolts will go on that side which you can see the old boat hole the old lines from the boat so that's it right there um got to get them back home get them in the truck put the bolts in and uh we'll be ready to drop an engine in so not a hard process it's a little difficult to work with uh you know and figure out on your first time but this is the second time i've done these so it's not bad at all but um for the obs trucks you're gonna want three dot 1121G GM clamshell motor mounts and that's if you want to go polyurethane instead of original rubber that come in this is OEM and that's aftermarket so we'll get back with y'all when it's time to get them put in the truck alright we're going to try to paint this see if we can get a little paint on it just a little bit see how it turns out I do say that's a hell of a difference. That looks pretty good. I ain't no professional by no means. I ain't no professional by no means. All right, we got them shits in. Man, they're a pain in the ass. Especially by yourself. Buddy Joy showed up. What's up, guys? He showed up help me out but man it's so tough we ain't even get no footage of it i wish i could have showed y'all y'all would have seen nothing but cuss words and fighting though that's all you would have seen but we got them in there 
I'm gonna touch up the engine bay one more time. Touch it up and then engine ready to go in after I get it out of the suburban. So man, that's crap right there. I hate it for all you V6 guys that's finna embark on this swap. But that's it man. That's a pain in the ass for real. Joey came with some good ideas though. It made it a little bit easier. We'll holler at y'all later. I just realized, I don't think I showed y'all the semi-gloss. It came out pretty good. If I had a chance to do it all over again, I probably would have kept it flat. But I can't complain on that semi-gloss for a little backyard project. I'm trying to see if I can get it for you without sunlight causing shadows and stuff but yeah that flat that flat looked real good to me but I'm happy with this I'm happy with it it turned out pretty good tell me what y'all think drop a comment flat black or semi-gloss black or hell some of y'all might have think I should have left it unpainted <laughs> but let me know Coming along, it's coming along, man. I like I like the progress that we make. We don't have long now. It's been a rough day. The mounts, the mounts was rough, boy. I don't want to scare y'all or nothing, but yeah, that's, <laughs> that's pretty rough right there. That's pretty rough. Glad I got a man, man. It's like a big mental mental block off me now. So we'll uh. We'll work on getting this out right here and do the work we need to do to it. And, uh, hey, before you know it, I was hoping for, I was shooting for the end of September. End of September, I want that truck on the road. So let's see if we can uh, meet that goal right there and start riding with the OBS crew with two of these. Me and the wife want to ride. So we'll holler at y'all later on, man. Catch y'all next time.